Hey everybody, it's Nintendo ES100 here with Let's Play Pokemon Emerald Part 23. In the last episode, we explored the abandoned ship, and in this episode, we will be continuing on with the sea routes of Hoenn, and my liar of a boyfriend told me I look great in a bikini. Seriously, if, you, if you're dating, and a girl asks you, you look, do they look good in something, don't answer. Because if you answer, yes, they look good in it, they'll call you a liar. If you say that they're, um, they look fat in it, well you don't expect to be dating them for much longer. But, um, in this video, this is something I've, tr this is um, something I'm trying for the first time, and this is, uh, trying, uh, live narration, um, so, like, I have Audacity set up right next to me recording my voice right now, so what you hear is what you're gonna get. And no, I do not want to switch. <laughs> I'm too busy to be on the live commentary. <laughs> so you're just playing it silently. But, oh well. In this episode, like I said, we will be continuing the water routes of the Hoenn region. Uh, hopefully, that, that all this shouldn't take too long, but I'm starting to run low on PP for, um, uh, what is it, Thunderbolt. Um, uh, wow. Um, so I might have to just switch over to using Confusion and stuff, but, haha, I can skip this double battle. Awesomeness. I don't think I've ever actually skipped that double battle before. I usually have done it as a double, probably because I didn't realize there, there, was, there was that patch of, uh... I don't... That's something I'm wondering about. Wait, the, like, lighter colored water? What is that? I mean, it's not like you're standing on water. If that was so, all the, like, half the trainers in this game are Jesus Christ. Which, I probably should have just made that joke, but oh well, I made it anyway. But, um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> And two Manectrix, wow, well, okay, maybe, I, I bet it's actually three Manectrix, wow, this, that explains why this girl was able to get so far into the water routes that she was just shocking everything, but, um, that's also something I've still wondered about, like, in the anime and everything, like, if you, the, when you're battling in the water and you use a move like, um, Thunderbolt or something, why doesn't electrocute all the rest of the water so anything else in the water would, like, get killed, but, um, for once, okay, okay, for once this trainer, actually, this makes sense. I mean, she has the Manectric, so she'd be able to take out the water Pokemon and everything, and she's got the Flello. Yes, the Flello. From now on, Swellow, I will call it Flello. But, um, and she has the Swellow to, um, fly her back to wherever she needs to go. Huh, it's pretty sweet. But, um, for once, a trainer with a semi-well-put-together team. This guy, I'm probably just going to make fun of his team, because it's probably... Something as pathetic as most other trainers in the game. Let's see... So it's got... Yeah, it's got a Wingle. You suck, even though, well... It's kind of funny, actually, my first ever, um... Emerald playthrough, I actually did use, um, a Wingle, and then, of course, a Pelipper. It was okay... Um, that was because back then I was a little bit naive with my team and everything, and I didn't exactly know what I was doing. But, um... I mean, I could have probably done a lot better on that, but I do have some really good memories of that. Because um, I remember, I think I've explained it in a previous video, the story with my shiftery and everything, but since I've explained it in a previous video, I don't think I'll explain it again until I get to that part of the game where that happened, which I honestly don't know how much longer that's going to be. Considering I'd say we're about halfway through the game, or a little bit over half, so uh, I might be able to wrap this um, LP up with in about 40 or 45 parts, uh, that would be nice, um, but um, something I'm also going to be, eh, no, okay, I probably shouldn't spoil that, because yes, there will be videos after um, I finish um, the Elite Four and be the champion and everything, but oh well, let's get this item in. My bag is full, really? Okay, let's see what I can get rid of, uh, I'll just put this on someone, eh, screw it, I'll put it on PSI. Um, let's see, not gonna need that, and probably not gonna need that, do, 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 do. guard spec definitely won't need, uh, probably won't use heal powder, not even worth selling the mail, uh, that should be good for right now, um, between videos I gotta remember to, uh, go sell some stuff, which I probably will forget, um, but, okay, let's see, let's keep moving. Is there anything down here? <laughs> this one little area right here looks like a finger pointing out. Oh well. And random encounter. And after that little, um, 
encounter, we got a battle. Also, something I also just thought I'd point out, um, even though we're only like we're already like five minutes into the video. Um, if you hear any anything that sounds like a mo oh wow a tentacle, um, if you hear like a mower in the background or anything, I don't know if you will, but um, if you do, it's probably just because my little brother is out back mowing and everything. Like you should pro you might hear it right about now, but um, oh well, I hope that really doesn't interfere with my commentary, but. Um, I'm honestly surprised this guy's got a tentacle out here, so... But... Oh well, and it got me up to level 43, I ain't complaining. <laughs> Whatever. Um... Thank you, thank you, um... Jerome. <laughs> that just reminded me there's a guy in one of my classes, well... In one of my old former classes, because I just recently finished up, um... My school year and everything, like just Friday or so. So, um... And like today... Uh, just... It, <laughs> I don't think it was like an end of the school year thing, I think, um, Sora was just having like a little family get together or whatever, and, um, he invited me, and I was, so I spent, um, about a decent amount of the day, uh, hanging out with Sora and his girlfriend, um, don't want to, I, and I don't want to have any threesome jokes in the comments, people, <laughs> but, um, still, I just talked over that encounter, didn't I? Okay, and I think I actually did actually talk over that so that last encounter, so I'm probably gonna leave that in. I might as well, but um, probably one of the la one of the few times you're actually gonna see that. Um, but here we've got another double battle between Mel and Paul. Really stupid names, and they got really stupid Pokemon. And I'm just gonna murder them because <laughs> we all know Pokemon actually die. They KO. What are you talking about? I don't know what you mean, but um. Yes, beautiful, I burned to death. Take that, May. I personally, hmm, I always thought May was kind of cool in the anime. May, Dawn, or Iris, well, I don't really, I can't really talk about Iris that much, considering I haven't seen too much of Black and White, but, um, honestly, Misty was the best female that Ash ever traveled with. I mean, Misty was just awesome, which is why I knew for Misty and Pokemon Bridge, we had to use somebody who was, um, would live up to the role and everything. And I find it ironic that the girl we have actually playing Misty is also a ginger, so we can make the ginger jokes and everything. How fun. Okay, let's see what's down here. A oh, random encounter. And after that interruption, I have one thing to say. Time skip! Yes, this is another video where I have to, uh, I had to, like, start the recording one day and then come back to the recording another day. And I walked right into the double battle while I was talking. Great. But yeah, so like earlier in the video when I was talking about hanging out with Sora and his girlfriend at that one cookout and everything, that was about a week ago now. Yeah. But, um, still. Um, and this is actually like the, th I, the third time I've tried to record this part of the video, mainly just due to the fact that, um, uh, Movie Maker's being really stupid and the fact that, um, apparently like, with Visual Boy Advance and everything, I almost said Virtual Boy there, um, I, apparently, like, if I record for so long, like, if I record for, like, seven minutes or something, he doesn't want to, Movie Maker doesn't want to take it, um, so I'll have to, like, scrap the recording and everything, so I, mean, I, don't, I don't get it, because I, I could have sworn I've done recording for longer than that, it doesn't make any sense to me, but, oh well, um, I just gotta deal with it, uh, what, oh, whatever, and technical, cool, whatever. Uh, I sound really bored now just after that. It's not as funny because, like, since I mentioned the Virtual Boy and everything, it was funny because I was watching Monstar the other day on History Channel, which, if you haven't seen that show before, watch it. It's a whole, I love that show so much. It's really cool. Man, it's really cool. It's really good. Yeah. Um, and Super Sonic crap. Well, at least it, um, it's not saying, Now I'll show you! But, um, <laughs> wow. That was really funny. But, um, yeah, they had it, um, it was kind of funny, like, they gave, like, they, they went to the old man and gave him a virtual boy and everything, he was playing, like, Mario Tennis and everything. It was funny, because I was just waiting for him to say something about having a headache or something. No joke, within, like, two minutes or something, he was like, eh, this is pretty cool. 
kind of makes my head hurt. I'm like, knew it. But, yeah. I love Pawn Stars. It's a good show. But, um... Yeah, so what have you guys been up to? I've been spending a lot of time watching uh, Getsumara um, after my, uh, Baratoski, like, I recommended him to me. Um, of course that girl mentions, like, are you properly protected against the sun? I've got, like, five sunburns. And she actually almost looks like my friend who's actually going to be playing uh, Misty in Pokemon and Bridge. Wow. I can make a ginger joke. Yeah. I can make a ginger joke. I can make a ginger joke. I can make a ginger joke. You have no soul! Sorry. How to get out of my system. But, um, hey, ginger jokes are funny. It's better than some of the other ginger jokes I've heard. But, um, yeah. So, like I said, I've been watching a lot of Getsumara, and I, um, just finished up his, uh, I think it was Twilight Princess the other week. Um, sad to see an end of that LP. I mean, it was really good. I really liked it. Um, but, uh, I've also really been interested in uh, his, L his current LP of, uh, LA Noir. I don't know if I'm saying that right. If any of you guys actually know how to pronounce that game right, it's N it's like N O I R E. I s me and get tomorrow, we say noir, but knowing knowing me, I'm probably completely mispronouncing it. But um Yeah, whatever. Let's see. I'm gonna avoid this double battles and battle them on their own. But um I'm wondering about how did these three people just get out here onto this little tiny island? I mean, I know it's not that far from shore because we're actually not that far from Slateport right now. Um, but how did they get out here? I mean, the mother's in a dress and everything, so did like they like does she really have to swim out here? Like what? You think it would get kind of boring for him just sitting on this tiny little island with like, only one umbrella, one chair, um, and it seems like no food. So that would be. I honestly think I'd kill myself before I, um, went, before I, it was time to go back to shore. But, um, why is it selling a movie all of a sudden? One umbrella, one chair, no food. Wait, it sounds like Survivor. <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, yeah, the little girl's gonna get voted off the island and everything. Eh, whatever. But, yeah, so what have you guys been up to? Like I said, of course, watch and get tomorrow and everything. Go check them out if you haven't already. Um, it's really good. Um, but actually, first I want to just make a little. I want to see what this mom has to say. Little kids can dart around so quickly. You don't dare take your eyes off them for an instant. It's very taxing. My Pokemon so should be okay. But yes, if these little kids w were to like go running around and everything, it's like, mommy, mommy, look, splash. Mommy, I can't drown. Use your inner tube. What's an inner tube? And the kid like drowns. But that was that was me. And I guess that was the game's way of taking its revenge on me for making a joke about a kid drowning, which is very, very mean, and I, very, and I apologize very, very much. But, obviously, like you can see now, we are back in Slateport City, but I think first I'm gonna heal up. Okay, now that that's out of the way, time to head back towards Lawville, so we can finally get on with the quote-unquote story of the game. In other words, heading towards the next gym, Fortree City. Wait, is that this Fortree? Yeah, I think so. Um... But yes, which we'll of course need Surf to get, get to. But of course, just uh, stupid bicyclers getting out of the way, out of my way, or I'll run over. That's what they needed to put in a future Pokemon game: the ability to run over other trainers. It'd be so much fun. I'm gonna get off my bike because that goes way too fast in this game. Okay, come on, this is getting boring now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, boring, more. Actually, I saw um. I remember I saw it was like some glitch or something on like side pokes where I think it was like if you this girl like some, something about that girl no I think it was actually this one it was, it was possible to like go over one of these ledges and like jump or something I really don't remember I might leave a uh, link in the description to that page on side pokes but um crap. And honestly, PSI is so close to a level up, I'm just going to try and level it up real quick.
And there we go, level 44. Awesome. Alright. But, um, now that PS... I think it's time to end PSI's time in this, um, spotlight, so no, you don't want to get the summary. That's just screw it. <laughs> shiny Skarmory. But, yeah, it's time to switch Skarmory in, and, you know, screw it, I'll take the, um, Mantra Brace and give it to Skarmory. No, I don't want to look at the picture again, even though it's awesome. Let's see, Mantra Brace, Mantra Brace, come on, come on, on. Alright, there we go. But, let's see. Uh, there we Should I bother with them right now? Now, nah, I'll get them off screen in between this video and the next, but, um, anyway. So, up here we have Route 119, which is where I caught my Tropius and everything, 747. But, I think we're gonna do that in the next video, and, um, so off screen I will go get those berries over there, but, the next episode we will go and head on to Route 119. See you guys next time. This is Nintendo Wii 100 signing out. Ha, I got it out that time.